हेलो मैम माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सॉल्वर प्रॉब्लम ऑन कन्वर्जन ऑफ वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एनालिसिस इनटू मास एनालिसिस और ग्रेविमेट्रिक एनालिसिस फॉर द गैसियस फ्यूल सेकंड क्वेश्चन सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन कन्वर्जन ऑफ मास एनालिसिस इनटू वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एनालिसिस फॉर द गैसियस फ्यूल और फ्लू गैस Let us first understand conversion of volumetric analysis into mass analysis or gravimetric analysis. When volumetric composition of any fuel gas is given, then we can convert it into mass analysis or gravimetric analysis. Now it is important to note that this conversion is only applicable for fuel gases or flue gases. Now, how to make this conversion? For that, we have to make here one table. Now, we will understand all the elements in the table one by one. Now, in the first column, we have to write here constituents. Now, fuel gas or flue gas is the combination of various gases such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen. So, we have to write here all the constituents. Now, volumetric composition is given. That means this volumetric composition may be given in percentage. That is, out of hundred percent of this total gas, what is the percentage of each constituents that will be given in the question? And then we have to take this, or we have to convert this percentage by dividing with the hundred into numbers, and we have to write in the second column. So second column volume in one meter cube of fuel gas. So here out of hundred percent, that is suppose this volumetric composition given in percentage, that is out of hundred percent each percentage is given. Then we have to take here the volume in one meter cube of fuel gas. So suppose I will say here that this letter will be A. That will be volume in One meter cube of fuel gas. So here, each composition volume we have to write here. Then summation of A. Suppose we add all these volumes for each constituent. Then summation of A should be equal to one. So we have to verify this. Then we will move for the next column. So next column will be molecular mass. So for that to calculate the molecular mass, we have we must know the atomic mass. So Here we will say this will be we will say letter B. So we have to fill up this from given data. Molecular mass must be known for each and every constituent. And then next column is for the proportional mass. So how to calculate the proportional mass? So for this proportional mass, I will say letter C. And letter C is equal to A multiplied by B. so from this we will calculate the letter c then if we calculate this proportional mass then we have to take here there is a summation of c that means we have to add all the proportional mass for each constituent and in the last column we have to take here there is a summation of c now we will move for the next so next is mass in kilogram per kilogram of flue gases So suppose for this column we will say letter D. Now mass in kilogram per kilogram of flue gases. That means we have to take this proportional mass C divided by summation of C. That is the total mass. Then we will get here as a D. Now we have to calculate percentage by mass. Now here mass analysis we have to calculate here. Percentage by mass. So how to calculate? So we have to take this D multiplied by hundred, and then we will get here the final answer. So all the numbers in the final column or this last column will give us the answer. We will solve one problem. Now here the volumetric composition for each constituent in the fuel gas is given. and we have to convert this volumetric composition into mass composition so how to convert this so here it is given that co2 14% co1% 
or to 5% and into 80%. So if we add all these percentage then here this total will is the 100%. So I will write here this total is 100%. Now out of this 100% carbon dioxide is 14%. Then carbon monoxide is 1%, oxygen is 5% and nitrogen is 80%. Now we will convert this given percentage in the volume in 1 meter cube of flue gas. So here percentage is given but we have to convert this given volume in 1 meter cube of flue gas. So how to convert? We have to divide it by 100 that is 14 by 100 0 0.14 1 by 100 0.01. 5% that is 5 by 100 0.05 and 80% that is 0 0.80. Now again we will add here. So if we add this then we will get here as a 1. So summation of A is equal to 1. This is getting verified. Now we will move for the next column. Now next is for molecular mass. So how to calculate this molecular mass? Now here CO2 is given. That means carbon is having atomic mass 12 and O2. So O is having atomic mass 16 and O2 is 32. So 32 plus 12. So we will write here as a 44. Then CO that is carbon plus oxygen. So 12 plus 16. So 12 plus uh, 16 that is 28. Then O2 that is 16 multiplied by 2 that is 32 and here n2 so n2 n is we have to take here as a 14 so here is 28 next column is the proportional mass and we have to multiply here the second and third column that is a multiplied by b so 0 0.14 multiplied by 44 6.16 then next is 0 0.28 1 by 6 1.16 22.14 now we will add all these numbers. So summation of C is equal to 30.44. Now the next column mass in kilogram per kilogram of flue gases. So here C divided by summation of C. So for this CO2 6.16 divided by we have to take this number 30.44 that is 0 0.202. Then next 0 0.28 divided by 30.44 0 0.009. 1.60 divided by 30.44 0 0.053 and 22.40 divided by 30.44 0 0.736. Now we can here cross verify this. If we add all these numbers, this summation of D should be equal to 1. So if we add all these numbers, summation of D is equal to 1. Now we will convert this into percentage by mass. So how to convert this into percentage? We will multiply here with 100. So if we multiply this number with 100, it is 20.2%, 0.9%, 5.3%, 73.6%. Now how we can cross verify this that this is act correct or not? We have to again add all this percentage and this percentage is 100%. So here summation, if we take for the last column then it is 100 now we will understand conversion of mass analysis into volumetric analysis. When percentage composition by mass for the different constituents in the fuel gas or flue gas is given, then we have to convert it into the percentage volumetric analysis. So for that this table is important. Now we will understand all the elements in this table one by one. So first is constituent. So whenever the mass analysis is given in percentage for the different constituents, we have to add all this percentage and here in the last column total should be 100%. So here we will write the total. So total is equal to 100% that if we add all the percentage of constituents. So here the uh, fuel gas or the flue gas is the combination of different gases. So this combination of different gases that is nothing but the combination of the constituents and for each constituent percentage is given. Then this is the first column. Now in the next column percentage mass analysis. 
So when this constant is given in percentage, then we have to write that percentage as it is because here we have to take the percentage mass analysis. Then the next column is the molecular mass. So for that atomic mass should be known and then we can easily calculate the molecular mass. The next is proportional volume. So how to calculate this? Now if I consider this percentage mass analysis as a A, then this molecular mass as a B, then proportional volume that we can calculate C is equal to A divided by B. So this is very important. That is percentage mass analysis divided by molecular mass, then it will give us the proportional volume that is C. Now, for this column, we will calculate the value of C for each constituent. And at the last, we have to take here as a summation of C. That is, we have to add all these numbers and here we have to write as a summation of C. Now, next is volume in 1 meter cube of flow gas. Now, suppose I will say here there is a D. Then how to calculate this D? That is the volume in 1 meter cube of flow gas. So, we have to take here the ratio of C divided by summation of C. Then we will get here as a D. So, this is the volume in 1 meter cube of flow gas. Now, here we can cross verify whether this calculation is correct or not. Because if we add all these numbers, then here that value should be equal to 1. Because this volume in 1 meter cube of flow gases. So, I will write here summation of D is equal to, should be equal to 1. Then the next column is percentage volumetric analysis. So, we have to refer the previous column. So, from this column, if I multiply here with 100, that is D multiplied by 100, then I will get the percentage volumetric analysis. And if we add all these percentage, then this percentage should be equal to 100%. Now we will solve one problem. Here the percentage composition by mass for the different constituents is given. So if we observe CO2 that is carbon dioxide is 13.3%, carbon monoxide 0.95%, oxygen 8.35% and nitrogen 77.4% that is given. So this is the first column from the given data. Now we will move for the next column percentage mass analysis. So here we have to take this value in percentage. So this given value is also in percentage. So we will write as it is that is 13.3 then 0 0.95, 8.35 and here 77.4. Now we will add all these numbers. So here 3, 0, I will take 4, 0. So 5, 5, that is 10. Then here 9 plus 6 plus 5. So again we will add this. So if we add this, we will get here as a 100. So this total percentage by mass is 100%. So out of 100%, the percentage of each constituent is given. Now next column is molecular mass. So, how to calculate molecular mass? So, for that atomic mass is known. That is atomic mass of carbon, 12. Atomic mass of oxygen, that is 16. But here two times of oxygen because O2 is given. So, 32 plus 12, that is 44. Then 12 plus 16 because C and O, that is 12 plus 16, 28. Then O2, that is 32. Then N2, that is 28. Now we will move for the next column, that is the proportional volume. So how to calculate the proportional volume? That is percentage mass analysis by molecular mass, that is A by B. So 13.3 divided by 44, 0.30. Then 0 0.95 divided by 28, 0 0.034. 8.35 divided by 32, 0 0.261. 77.4 divided by 28, 2.76. So if we add all these numbers, we will get 3.357. Now this is the summation of C that we have to write. Now how to calculate the volume in 1 meter cube of flow gas? So here D is equal to C divided by summation of C. So C that is nothing but this uh, proportional volume for each constituent divided by this summation that we have to take. So 0 0.30 
टू डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फिफ्टी सेवन सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइनटीन देन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थर्टी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फिफ्टी सेवन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन देन जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्सटी वन डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फिफ्टी सेवन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन एट एंड टू पॉइंट सेवेंटी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फिफ्टी सेवन जीरो पॉइंट एट टू टू सो सपोज वी कैन क्रॉस वेरीफाई दिस वी विल एड ऑल दिस नंबर्स एंड दिस नंबर्स शुड इक्वल टू शुड बी इक्वल टू वन so if we add this we will get here the one now we have to convert this volume in 1 meter cube of fuel gas or flue gas into percentage volumetric analysis so how to convert this into percentage by multiplying with 100 so if we multiply here 100 it is 9% then here if we multiply it is 1% then 7 7.8% and 82.2% so we can say that here for this carbon dioxide is 9% by volumetric analysis that is 9% present by volume then carbon monoxide is 1% then oxygen is 7.8% and nitrogen is 82.2% now we will cross verify this if we add all this percentage then this percentage should be equal to 100% so if we add this it is equal to 100% so this last column is nothing but the answer